Okay, class. Let's look at field work procedure. This is all about the steps involved. Uh, you know, if you are to conduct field work, you don't simply jump into the area of study. There are steps you undergo for your field work to be successful. Uh, for example, step number one is pre-field preparation stage. Pre-field. Pre means before. You prepare before actual field work. Then two is actual field work stage. A stage of data collection. You are now in the field. Then we have follow-up stage. Post field stage. You are from the field. You are now at school. Number one is pre field preparation. You prepare before going. Then actual field or data collection stage. You are now in the field using all the other methods we discussed or some of them. You may not use them at the same time. Then follow up stage. You are back. It is after field work. You are at school and you are trying to recall, remember, rearrange what you uh, collected from the field. If we talk about pre-field preparation stage, uh, it has a number of activities. I said this is a stage before field work. You prepare yourself and learners before going for actual field work. And there are very many things to be looked at and to be sorted out. Uh, for example, you need to choose the area of study before field work. You will decide as a class and say you want to visit lakes, national parks, but you will not visit all. So you will say we have selected Akajira National Park as our area of study. Uh, you have to design a topic. For example, you say uh, we want to visit Chivu Lake and our topic is fishing on Lake Chivu or uh, methods used in fishing on Lake Chivu. Uh, then after you need to formulate the objectives, if the topic is fishing and the area of study is Lake Chivu, what do you want to know about fishing? Is it the methods only? Is it the contribution of fishing? Is it the types of fish? After design, uh, you select the appropriate research method. Because if you want, for example, to know methods or to identify uh, methods used in fishing on Lake Chivu, Will you use interview? Will you observe? Will you record? Will you use passing? You choose. You choose the best and appropriate method according to your objectives. Uh, carrying out uh, pre-survey. You need to go there before. Survey. You know the respondents. You know the area of study. Then you go when you know you are going to meet respondents A, B, C, D and you know that fishing is there. If you go uh, without survey, or you go before survey, you may reach there and find there is no fishing, or there are no fishermen by that time. Or you find fishing has been stopped for some time on the lake, so as to conserve fish. So you need to survey, pilot study, Seeking for permission, you need to seek for permission from authorities like police, school, etc. Forming of work groups, you need, if the, for example, the class is big, you need to form groups uh, in order to save time because you will say group A will deal with methods. Group B will deal with types of fishing. Group D will deal with contribution of fishing. 
so that one saves time and you collect the data very quickly. Uh, designing a time management plan, you need to move when you have time with yourselves. After, uh, uh, if you don't do that, time will not be enough even for the whole day because people will go off topic, you divert from objectives, you spend much time on one objective, so you need to plan for the time. Uh, then you assemble, you assemble the equipment and research instruments. If you are to use a tape measure, if you are to use a camera, if you are to, use, to have umbrellas, if you are to have rain coats, if you are to have a radio, a recorder, you need to make sure everything is in place. Uh, then you brief the runners, then you leave departure. Thank you.